recently I've been thinking a lot about uh, dependency and um, uh, emancipation and the present political situation couldn't possibly exist where uh, more and more uh, demagogues take power, autocrats uh, get into positions of leadership uh, with millions of people uh, loving them and um, blindly, without thinking, following them. How does that come about? What kind of creatures are we? What kind of primates are we that we can be mesmerized by um, uh, unconscionable uh, uh, narcissistic power hungry people. Well, uh, our dependency, our uh, wanting to belong with others, the herd instinct is so strong in most of us that uh, when we are in a group uh, it's dangerous and prohibited to think because thinking puts you into a dangerous position vis-a-vis -a, -vis a group. Uh, uh, you think your own thoughts, you make your own decisions. The danger is the group will eject you. The group will say, uh, you're not one of us. So membership in a group actually costs you uh, thought and thinking. I think you can participate in a large group emotionally and you wipe out your thinking, there you are, middle America. Uh, no thinking, base emotions uh, and uh, we are back in dangerous Nazi Germany. I, I think one has to be realistic and uh, uh, not be too squeamish thinking about human nature. Not one of us would be alive today if we weren't on top of a big bloody heap of humanity, our fathers, forefathers, uh, great-great-great-grandfathers shedding their blood in order to protect their women and children, make sure that their genetic material uh, survives. Uh, because those who weren't protected, uh, their lineage is dead, gone, way over. So who are we to glibly and naively talk about peace and uh, uh, decent treatment of each other when each one of us is only alive because others have murdered uh, their enemies. So uh, uh, how to move from this kind of uh, dependency to an autonomy. The word uh, emancipation, the M-A-N in the emancipation, the man is manus, hand. So an emancipated human being holds himself or herself uh, in their own hand um, without leaning on others, at least uh, in most dimensions. There are aspects of dependency which we uh, would be foolish to get rid of. Uh, the um, American ideal of uh, the lone stranger, the Marlboro man, uh, gazing into the distance alone on a uh, precipice on a rock, uh, may be some people's ideal, but um, I think the developmental sequence for a human being is uh, uh, first double dependency, um, Winnicott calls it, when uh, we are born uh, we are dependent and we have no idea that we are dependent. 
So being dependent and not even be aware of the dependence, he calls double dependency. Out of that we wake up into dependency and we are the species with the longest period of dependency of all other animal species. Uh, that's when we are dependent uh, on our parents and others uh, and we know it. Out of that, yes, it, it's a great step forward to become independent and that's where the American ideal stops. But actually there is a further uh, development into what I would call interdependence where uh, um, we gladly and uh, joyfully uh, help each other, encourage each other, uh, take delight in each other and depend on each other um, mutually. And realize that, for example, even language um, implies an us that we all participate in. R.D. Lang, my teacher, used to say, um, uh, you can only be as smart as the company you keep. Um, and of course, after age 16, you're responsible for the company you keep. Up to age 16, it's an accident. <laughs> you were just dropped into a milieu, a family. You didn't choose them. There is no evidence that you chose them. Uh, and uh, uh, there you are, but uh, around age 16 you can <laughs> go in search of uh, what kind of company you want to be in. So, as some ancient mystics have expressed, there is no I, uh, there is only us. And uh, uh, I even thought that um, to try to measure intelligence is a mistake, IQ tests and so on. Because uh, from where I stand, there is maybe one intelligence. You know, like you, you can't, uh, uh, we, are, we are fruits on, on the tree of the universe. Uh, and uh, you can't say that the apple is intelligent, but the tree is stupid. How could a stupid tree or an unintelligent tree grow intelligent apples? So I think there is only one intelligence that we all have the chance to partake of, to tune into. So children already in grade one, um, where some seem smarter than others, I think it's just an illusion. I think the ones who seem not so smart are distracted. I think that uh, if they weren't distracted by all sorts of survival issues, like they are tortured at home, how can you be smart in school when you can hardly survive your parents? Um, so emancipation is a state of uh, uh, waking up. It's a kind of enlightenment where you realize that uh, there is no human being uh, that you can uh, or you should look up to, nor anyone you should look down on. So that all communication, once you uh, are emancipated, is on a level, horizontal. Uh, it may be that you are skilled in certain things and I am skilled in some others. But as human beings, we are equal. Um, I don't have to uh, uh, look up. I don't have to look down. We are on the level. 